Haiti is battling a cholera outbreak. Thousands of people across the country are falling sick with the disease. The rapidly spreading outbreak is straining the resources of non-profit organizations and local hospitals. With hospitals filled up, medical workers are forced to treat patients in makeshift tents. Medical staff are struggling to provide care amid the ongoing economic and political crisis. Fuel, water and other basic supplies are growing scarcer by the day. In addition, the lack of fuel has shut down public transport, gas stations and other key businesses. Comme tout acteur euh, et toute personne aujourd'hui euh, présente en Haïti sait que la question du carburant est le défi majeur. Alors ça, il y a d'autres défis hein, dans, au niveau de l'approvisionnement des hôpitaux euh, qui sont en manque d'oxygène, euh, manque de toute une série aussi d'intrants, de compresses, etc. Donc, euh, mais c'est sûr que cette question du carburant est centrale avec des services euh, dans les hôpitaux publics qui doivent fermer parce qu'ils n'ont plus euh, de, de, assez de carburant pour pouvoir euh, intervenir. Alors Médecins Sans Frontières n'en est pas là aujourd'hui, donc on arrive à continuer euh, à intervenir malgré que pour nous aussi, les limitations de carburant est un énorme défi. Cholera is a bacteria that sickens people who swallow contaminated food or water and it can cause severe vomiting and diarrhea, in some cases leading to death. Haiti's first major brush with cholera occurred more than a decade ago. Nearly 10,000 people died and thousands of others were sickened. The cases eventually dwindled to the point where the World Health Organization was expected to declare Haiti cholera-free this year. But on, on October 2nd, Haitian officials announced that cholera had returned. At least 40 deaths and 1,700 suspected cases have been reported so far, but officials believe the numbers are much higher, especially in crowded and unsanitary shanty towns and government shelters where thousands of Haitians currently leave. And the local gangs are making the situation even worse. Gangs are blocking access to a key fuel terminal to protest a government decision to cut fuel subsidies, drying up gasoline and diesel supplies. Haitians also face a shortage of drinking water amid a deadly outbreak of cholera and a lack of food. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.